Hi everybody, just a quick video today to look at a tool that's going to help us extract objects from our surface, or in this case I'll be extracting contours. So when working with Civil 3D, and that's what I've, I've got open right now, I've got a surface object that's been created, and as part of that surface object I've got contours that are being displayed at a particular interval that's defined by my style. But as I select the surface, you notice that it highlights as one piece. There may be times when we want to, you know, extract these contours and use them someplace else. Maybe we want to share them with somebody who doesn't have Civil 3D and they just want polylines to represent contours. Maybe I want to extract one out to reference a high water line. Could be lots of reasons I want to extract them. Uh, today I'm actually going to use it to uh, extract my contours such that I can represent my surface contours as a shapefile. So that maybe I can give them the... Um, contours themselves in a shapefile format, not a DEM, and have them recreate their own contours, but just here are the uh, polylines or the line work that makes the contours up. We'll uh, give that to them in a, uh, a shapefile format. So without uh, any more explanation, let's go through and take a look at that. If, uh, if I come in here and I select the surface itself, through the contextual ribbon I see that there is an option that appears that says Extract from Surface. And if I click on the down arrow, the uh, tool that we're going to use is extract objects or you see the actual command name is surface extract objects so we'll go ahead and select that and I've got uh, two options that are listed if I had user defined contours or other ones uh, displayed as part of my surface style those would be options that I could select as well in this case we've just got major and major and minor contours now uh, by default it's select all I could select specific ones from the drawing if I were to select that and then maybe grab um, the uh, object selection icon here for major contours I could maybe grab and select this one and this one like I said maybe if I was doing a high water line uh, I'd like to capture that as opposed to all of them we could select them individually but in our case because we're gonna dump these out as a shape file we're gonna go ahead and say select all for both the major and the minor contours so we'll say OK it automatically extracts all those objects so now any of these, if we select them on top of our surface, we now see that we've got polylines to represent those contours. So let's write that out as a shape. I'm going to use the command map export. We're going to export a shape file out. We'll put it in my Tuesday folder here. Uh, I'll just call this uh, contours. Click on OK. What are we going to export? I'm going to export these out as lines. Uh, select manually. I'll go ahead and window those off the screen. So we'll go ahead and select those. And then um, as far as data, if I'm going to export this as a shape file, the lines or the polylines themselves have a three-dimensional elevation, but maybe I want to provide an attribute uh, that equals the elevation. Maybe that will help me in wherever I'm going to be taking it into. So I'll make sure and do that so that maybe they aren't just looked at as 2D lines. So there is the opportunity to add uh, attribution to this. So we'll go ahead and go to properties. I'm going to say elevation. We'll go ahead and add that. And then uh, I could, you know, select other things as well. Maybe I wanted to do something with uh, color or something like that. We could add those attributes. Um, there's other things that we could select as well about the object itself. We could take and drill down and get uh, additional data as well. All right, so tons of things that we could extract. Um, We'll just do color and elevation for right now. And then I'm going to check the box here to create a unique key. By default, it's called uh, AD Map Key. That means I'll have at least one unique identifier for every single one. I always like to do that so that in the event that the unique identifier, all the objects weren't exactly unique, that I have one field that will uh, ensure that uh, each of the different items within the shapefile are unique. So... Uh, I uh, could do a coordinate system. I don't have one associated with this drawing. That's fine. If uh, I did have a coordinate system, we could apply that so that it would be able to transform it on the fly if we brought it into another file that uh, that had a system set different than what was in here. So, uh, selected lines, selected manually the objects we're interested in, added the attributes. I could save this profile if this was something that I did on a regular basis. In this case, we see that uh, 20 objects, one was filtered out. The one that was filtered out when I windowed was obviously the surface object. We'll go ahead and click OK. And my shapefile has been created. So to test that, just uh, very quickly here, I'm going to go ahead and we'll erase my surface and my contour representation. 
And let's go ahead and bring in that shape file. We'll take a look at those. So we'll come out to my desktop. We will look at my Tuesday folder. Under the Tuesday folder here is the contours.shp. I'm going to drag that in, drop it into my file here. We see the uh, contours displayed uh, in green. And if I come up, we turn on the map task pane. We look at that. I can now come in and start to adjust those different contours to... Uh, I had different line weights on them before. I got green. That was actually kind of random. Could Color could have been anything. Let's maybe change those to a burgundy color. Uh, I don't want you to think they were green because they were green in my drawing. It's whatever map assigned to it. Um, we'll go ahead and set a uh, hidden line type to those. We'll say apply and we'll close out and close out. So those are my uh, contours now represented in a shape file. And as we mentioned with the attribution, if I were to highlight one of those segments and say I'd like to uh, look at the data table. When the data table comes up, there's our unique identifier. We see the color is 256. The, uh, the elevation for that contour is 691. All right, so our command today is surface extract objects. Using that command, we can reach into a civil 3D object and extract components that uh, are represented as part of that surface. In this case, we extracted contours. We extracted all the contours, major and minor, and then we did it for the purpose of being able to write that out to a shapefile, such that we've got another mechanism to share that data with folks that maybe want it in a shapefile format. So hope this helps, and I look forward to talking to you again soon. See ya.